Hey guys, Dan here, and I just wanted to, you know, sit down and talk a little bit about how six years of life, well, after high school anyway, six life, six years of just real life, have a, have a, just, I guess, just a summary of how I feel about it and how things have gone on. So, six years, you know, if you asked me six years ago, you know, how do I expect life would be? I honestly never would have ex expected it to be like it has been so far. I mean, it's definitely been just a big roller coaster of emotion, more so than I felt in the past, and it's definitely kind of, kind of, somewhat a good and a bad feeling sometimes. There's just been so much that's gone on over six years that I never, like I said, never would have expected to ever, ever experience over these years, and. I said with the, when I mean roller coaster of emotion, I mean it's just literally up and down, up and down. Like there are moments where I'm really happy, there are moments when I'm just really upset, and then there's moments in the middle where I'm just either angry or you know depressed or stressed. You know, just it's been a roller coaster, man. I I really wish that it could been better. You know, there are many times where I just wish things could have been definitely a lot better. You know, starting out, you know, expecting to go to school, you know, expecting to make everyone in my family happy going to school. And then, you know, by the end of the second month, you know, canceling my plans for school and going to work. And then having everyone in my family basically naysay me for it. It's, it's, it's not a good feeling at all. You know, having people tell me, oh, well, hey, you ever going to go back to school? You ever plan on going back to school? And, you know, of course, on the outside, I'm like, oh, I'm thinking about it. When inside, I'm really saying, no, I don't want to go to school. Like, it's never really been my plan to go back to school to begin with. I just haven't gotten the, I guess I haven't gotten the balls or the guts to even tell anyone that I don't plan on going back to school. Because I know my family won't like hearing that from me. But honestly, I like the way things are now. You know, I'm comfortable with what I'm doing in life right now. Sure, things could be better, you know, but things, you know, they, they could they could always be worse, you know. I could not have a job at all. But I'm grateful for where I am right now, and I just wish my family someday would, would understand how I feel. You know, I'm feeling a lot of things. And over, like I said, over six years, there's been a lot of emotions going through. You know, I've always been stressed about almost anything ranging from you know, car trouble or, you know, money trouble to girl trouble and, you know, feeling trouble and loneliness and stress and depression and all that. It just, it's not a good feeling, man. It really isn't. Believe it or not, I actually have had some, you know, almost over the edge thoughts of, you know, when I was really, really depressed and stressed. Like, I have on multiple occasions thought about just wondering if it would be worth it to just end it all. Yeah, I am talking about that, but I, you know, I, I have even attempted to do said things, you know? I've attempted to end my own life. I, I really have. And I'm not afraid to say that because, you know, obviously I'm still here. They weren't super serious, you know? I guess I just felt like everything was just coming down on me to the point where I just felt it would be better if I just wasn't here, you know, and I don't know why it came down to that, but it just did, you know, ever since, you know, going through that breakup last year, you know, with my first time being in a relationship, you would think, all right, well, you know, Dan's about to learn, you know, one of the most, you know, one of the, I guess, key things in life that, you know, all relationships aren't going to work out, but the way it ended and the way that what happened around that time just, I guess it affected me a lot more than it should have, and I, I didn't feel right breaking someone's heart at all, you know? And I felt like shit after doing that, I really did. You know, but what I felt was true, I guess I just didn't want to accept what I was feeling. And you know, if there's really one thing that I really want to feel over, you know, maybe in the future, it doesn't have to be the recent or soon future, but sometime over my life, I would like to be able to 
experience happiness you know it I guess what in my mind what I see as happiness is actually you know finding someone finding a special girl who I you know from inside grow feelings for and have those feelings matched you know because in the past it's always never been like that it's always been the same old you know you know you're you're a good friend you're a good friend you're a good friend and I'm not saying that's a bad thing I enjoy having friends and such it's just I guess deep down I've always wanted to know what it's like to be quote unquote in love I guess and I know that sounds cliche, but hear me out. It's it's just always been a feeling I've wanted to know what it's like. And of course, I thought I knew what that was last year, but I was completely wrong. And I don't know, I feel like maybe if I just knew what that felt like, maybe I'd be able to be a lot more happier in life. But I know that's obviously a lie too, but that would at least give me a little bit more way to relieve you know any stress or build up that may build up over years or over work time or time etc by having someone to talk to someone who will literally listen to me and care for me like that and I'm not saying you know being in a relationship is the be all end all goal it's not but it's just something I've always felt like I've wanted to have happen and never have had the chance to and it's hard, it really is. But, you know, sometimes in life you just gotta take what you got and move on. You know, hearts are gone, you know, hearts go through heartbreak all the time. And, you know, I guess I got a lot more heartbreak on the way in the future. You know, I'm only, like I said, it's only been six years since graduating and I guess be, being here in real life. It's just, it's definitely been a rough ride, but let's look at the bright sides, you know. I got a lot of good things going for me. You know, I'm still here. I still have my car and I still have a job and I have a lot of things to be thankful for. I just wish someday that maybe my family and my friends and everyone who just will be able to see it my way, you know. Be able to realize that I've made my mind on the direction I'm going with my life. And you can't really force someone to make a decision they don't want to make and you know the moment you know the, the the moment when I actually clear all this debt I have with my family well, with my uncle and with my family and I actually am able to experience this you know experience life without actually you know paying so many bills and such maybe then I'll be able to be happy, you know, in, in experiencing something that I've never felt or never been able to do before, and that's live on my own, potentially. But that's, you know, a, a hell, probably a year or a couple years away, and, you know, a lot can happen between now and then. It's just hard to think that six years have gone by, and I've... I honestly feel like I've done nothing, you know, I feel like I've just been in the same cycle for six years. I, I guess I really just need a break at some point, you know. One of these days I'll be able to just take a break, get out of, you know, home and just go on a vacation, an actual vacation. Take a break and relax. God knows when that'll be, but... You know, it'll happen someday. A lot of things will happen someday. It's all about being patient, and being time, and waiting to see what life has in store. Because you, know, you can't force things. You really can't. Anyway, I guess I've held up too much time rambling on. Honestly, I do want to just appreciate anyone who has watched this video and sat here and listened to my rambling and my soapbox here. It's... I think it's definitely been a good help for me to be able to speak about this and I know it's gonna be weird for me to upload this because it's not meant to be anything sappy or anything I'm not trying to like bring down anyone's day it just it helps out a lot to be able to talk about feelings even even if it's just like 
the audience is, you know, people behind a computer screen. You know, I mean, you all are real people too, but I'm talking to a computer screen right now, and even though there's no one here listening to me, it does feel a lot better to be able to say these things. So, I guess that's all I got to say. So, thank you guys for your time, thank you for your support, and thank you guys for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. See you then.